हाई एवरी वन दिस इज प्रतीक्षा मिश्रा एंड वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ पी एम बैप एस एन अकेडमी इन दिस वीडियो वी कैन डिस्कस अबाउट द एनवायरमेंटल पोल्यूशन वॉट इज एनवायरमेंट वॉट आर द एनवायरमेंटल पोल्यूशन वॉट आर द एनवायरमेंटल हाजर्स एंड वॉट आर द क्वेश्चन ऑफ एनवायरमेंटल पोल्यूशन सो वट इज पोल्यूशन पोल्यूशन इज द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ सब्सटेंसेस और एनर्जी दैट कॉज एडवर्स चेंजेस इन द एनवायरमेंट एंड लिविंग एंटिटीज और लिविंग लाइफ एंड पोल्यूशन नीड नॉट ऑलवेज टू बी कॉज्ड बाय केमिकल सब्सटेंसेस लाइक पार्टिकुलर्स स्मोक और डस्ट इट फॉर्म्स एनर्जी सच एज साउंड हीट लाइट दिस आर ऑल्सो कैन बी अ कॉज ऑफ पोल्यूशन pollution may be by natural may be by artificial and those substances can cause pollution are called pollutants pollution even in a minuscule amounts impacts or ecological balance and pollutants can make their way up to the food chain and eventually find their way inside the human body so there are various types of pollutions usually the main kinds of pollutions like air pollution water pollution soil pollution noise pollution radiation pollution mostly air pollution water pollution soil pollution and noise pollution are the four basic types of pollutions and other types of uh, pollutions like light pollution thermal pollution radioactive pollution these are also are of types of pollutions let's see what is air pollution First of all air pollution means the release of harmful contaminants like chemicals toxic gases particulates biological molecules the releasing of these substances to the environment is called air pollution and these contaminants are affect to our body our health and our total environment this air pollution causes mainly by burning of fossil fuels mining operations by exhausting gas from the industries and factories and these effects of air pollution vary based on the kind of pollutant but generally the impact of air pollution ranges from the increased risk of respiratory illness and cardiovascular problems it increases risk of skin disease it increases the risk factor of cancer it causes global warming it causes acid rain it causes ozone depletion in stratosphere layer and is also becomes a hazard to our wild life so air pollution is very dangerous for our environment like air pollution water pollution is also very very bad to our environment for our health and what is water pollution when the toxic pollutants and toxic particulate matter are introduced in our water bodies like lakes rivers seas wells they becomes contaminated and these contaminated water pollutes our body pollutes our entire water body and is called water pollution by human activities like sewage treatment and oil spills water pollution can also cost however even natural processes of water pollution can causes like eutrophication eutrophication is one of the most natural causes of water pollution so what are the significant causes of water pollution by dumping solid waste in water bodies like in sea waste in rivers in lakes water pollution can causes by disposing untreated industrial wastes or industrial sea waste into the water bodies water pollution can causes human or animal wastes or excretory products can also causes water pollution agricultural contents or agricultural pesticides fertilizers these are can also cause the water pollution the effects of water pollution are very very pronounced in our environment and the toxic chemicals which are released from the factories these are the most most common contaminants for our water pollution like water pollution soil pollution is also bad for our health for our environment soil pollution is also known as soil contamination and it refers to the degradation of land due to the presence of chemicals or other man made substances in the soil mostly the xenobiotic substances alter the natural composition of the soil and it affect negatively to our body and this can drastically impact life directly or indirectly so the causes of soil pollutions are mainly by improper industrial waste disposal in soil oil spills 
एसिड रेन माइनिंग एक्टिविटीज इंडेंसिव फार्मिंग और एग्रोकेमिकल्स फर्टिलाइजर्स पेस्टिसाइड्स यूजिंग ऑफ मोर पेस्टिसाइड्स कैन कॉजेस सॉइल पॉल्यूशन यूजिंग ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल एक्सीडेंट आर ऑल्सो कॉजेस सॉइल पॉल्यूशन ओवर ग्रेजिंग इज ऑल्सो अ मेन कॉज ऑफ सॉइल पॉल्यूशन सो दिस आर द कॉजेस ऑफ सॉइल पॉल्यूशन लास्टली नॉइज पॉल्यूशन नॉइज मीन्स साउंड सो नॉइज पॉल्यूशन इज ऑल्सो नोन एज साउंड पॉल्यूशन इट रेफर्स टू द एक्सेसिव अमाउंट ऑफ नॉइज इन द सराउंडिंग दैट डिस्टर्ब्स द नेचुरल बैलेंस यूजअली इट इज मैन मेड थ्रू द सर्टेन नेचुरल कैलेमिटीज लाइक वोल्कानोज कैन कंट्रीब्यूट टू द नॉइज पॉल्यूशन बट मोस्टली नॉइज पॉल्यूशन कैन ऑकर्स बाय मैन मेड इन जनरल एनी साउंड विच इज ओवर एटी फाइव डेसी बेल्स इज कंसिडर्ड टू बी डिटर्मिनटल because 85 decibel is uh, very common for our ear and over 85 decibel it is uh, very bad impact on our ear and our eardrum and also the duration of individual is exposed play an impact of their health for perspective a normal conversation is around 60 decibels and more than 60 decibel sound can cause us very harmful effect for our ear and our eardrum or our inner ear and a jet taking off around 150 decibels so consequently noise pollution is more obvious than the other types of pollutions there are some causes of noise pollution like industry oriented noises like heavy machine sound mill sound factory sound transportation of noises from vehicles aeroplanes announcers uh, construction noises noise from social events like uh, loud speakers firecrackers or household noises like mixtures tv washing machines or loud voice music these are some noise pollution these are the causes of noise pollution which can damage our ears our inner ear and our ear drum so here we see our pollutions what is pollution what are the causes of pollution how pollution affects our body affects our health affects our environment there are four main types of pollutions we see air pollution water pollution soil pollution and noise pollution and noise pollution is very very dangerous for our health it causes hearing loss it causes sleeping disorders it causes high bp it causes communication problems these are some very bad impact of our health so here we cover our basic knowledge about pollutions and environmental pollutions so let's start our question answer session here is our first question who was the first scientist to coin the term smog and to describe the layers of smog so nikola tesla stefan dr henry or nicolas and the right answer is dr henry next question which of the following pollutants are responsible for the cause of smog from incinerators emissions from vehicles both incinerators and emissions for from vehicles or none of the above and the answer is smog causes by both incinerators and the emissions from vehicles next question which of the following is called the secondary air pollutant pan ozone carbon monoxide or nitrogen dioxide and the right answer is ozone next which of the following particles is called the particulate pollutants ozone radon fly ash or ethylene and the right answer is fly ash fly ash is called the particulate pollutant which of the following agent is responsible for turning the taj mahal yellow sulfur chlorine sulfur dioxide or nitrogen oxide and the correct answer is sulfur dioxide sulfur dioxide is only gas which is responsible for turning the taj mahal white to yellow next which of the following statement is true about smog smog is derived from the fog smog is derived from the smoke smog is derived from water vapor or smog is derived from both fog and smoke and the right option is smog is derived from both fog and smoke which type of precautions should be taken to survive which sorry when the ozone level is high drive less stay hydrated both a and b that means both by drive less or stay hydrated and go for a long walk and the right answer is option c both a and b that means both drive less and stay hydrated can survive when the ozone level is high next which of the following statement is true about the air quality index it indicates the color of the air it predicts ozone levels in your area 
it determines the intensity of sound and sound pollution it estimates air pollution mainly sulfur content in the air and the right answer is it predicts ozone levels in your area the major photochemical smog is hydrogen peroxide chlorofluorocarbon or cfc then peroxidyl nitrate or all of the above and the right answer is chlorofluorocarbon or cfc the major photochemical smog is cfc which of the following diseases are caused by smog rickets bronchitis breathing problem or all of the above and the answer is all of the above Co smog causes rickets bronchitis and breathing problems or respiratory tract diseases next number 11 ddt and aluminium cans are examples of primary pollutants secondary pollutants biodegradable pollutants or non biodegradable pollutants these are very obvious these are non biodegradable pollutants how many different types of primary pollutants together contribute to about 90% of the global air pollution 3 5 7 or none of the above and the right answer is 5 which of the following agents is mainly responsible for the secondary pollutants smog and ozone sulfur trioxide nitrogen dioxide or all of the above and the answer is all of the above next number 14 smoke fumes ash dust nitric acid and sulfur dioxide are the main sources of dash primary pollutants secondary pollutants biodegradable pollutants or none of the above and the correct answer is these are the main sources of primary pollutants number 15 which of the following industries plays a major role in polluting air and increasing air pollution brick manufacturing industries manufacture of gas industries electrical appliances and electrical good industries or all of the above and the correct answer is all of the above next number 16 which of the following gas is more in percentage in the air oxygen gas nitrogen gas water vapor or carbon dioxide gas the correct option is nitrogen gas nitrogen gas is more in percentage in the air that is 78% next number 17 increased level of air pollution results in dash soil erosion respiratory problems global warming or all of the above and the right answer is respiratory problems respiratory tract diseases like asthma and uh, respiratory problems these are some lungs related problems which are causes due to air pollution next number 18 The Taj Mahal, Lotus Temple, Golden Temple, India Gate, and other famous heritage monuments are being affected by dash, air pollution, noise pollution, water pollution, or all of the above. This is very obvious answer. Due to air pollution, these monuments becomes very affected. Next number nineteen. What is the total percentage of nitrogen gas in the air? Twelve percent, seventy-eight percent, twenty-one percent, eighty-seven percent. I have to already told about you. Seventy-eight percent nitrogen gas is present in the air, and this is the highest percentage in the air. Which of the following gases are called greenhouse gases? Methane, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, or both A and C? That means both methane and carbon dioxide. And the correct option is both A and C. That means methane and carbon dioxide are called greenhouse gases. Twenty-one question. Which of the following rivers is called the world's most polluted river Ganga river Chenab river Kaveri river or Yamuna river and the right answer is Ganga river next number 22 which of the following are primary causes of water pollution plants animals human activities or none of the above and the answer is very very obvious that is human activities or man made activities are causes the primary causes of water pollution Which of the following techniques is used for reducing the total dissolved solids or TDS in the water? Osmosis, ion exchange, distillation, or both B and C? And the right answer is both by ion exchange and distillation process. Next, which of the following statements are true about CNG or compressed natural gas? It is a clean fuel. It is a harmful fuel. it is a polluting fuel or all of the above and the right statement about cng or compressed natural gas is it is a clean fuel option a is the correct answer number 25 which of the following salts is the main cause of permanent hardness of water magnesium sulfate magnesium bicarbonate magnesium carbonate or none of the above and which causes permanent hardness of water magnesium sulfate option a 26 which of the following is mainly responsible for the causes of water pollution afforestation 
ऑयल रिफाइनरीज पेपर फैक्ट्रीज और बोथ ऑयल रिफाइनरीज एंड पेपर फैक्ट्रीज एंड द वाटर पॉल्यूशन मोस्टली कॉजेस बाय ऑयल रिफाइनरीज एंड पेपर फैक्ट्रीज आफोरेस्ट्रेशन मीन्स प्लांटिंग ऑफ ट्रीज एंड प्लांटिंग ऑफ ट्रीज नॉट कॉजेस वाटर पॉल्यूशन इट कॉज इट maintain our healthy environment it maintains our oxygen level inside our environment afforestation is a good but oil refineries and paper factories are the main causes of water pollution next number 27 chlorofluorocarbon or cfc are non flammable chemicals mainly used in dash perfumes refrigerators air conditioners or all of the above and cfc are mainly used in perfumes refrigerators and also in ac that is all of the above is the right answer 28 question which of the following techniques is used to determine the concentration of odor compounds in the given water sample settling flushing striping or chlorination and the right answer is striping what is the health effects of excess fluoride in drinking water fluorosis toothaches lungs diseases or intestinal infection and fluoride obviously cause fluorosis and that's why the option is a correct answer next number 30 question which of the following techniques is used to remove fluorides from the water bodies osmosis ion exchange lime softening or both b and c and the right answer is both b and c that means both ion exchange and lime softening number 31 which of the following is a water bond disease typhoid cholera diarrhea or all of the above we all know the answer all of the above because typhoid cholera and diarrhea these are only causes due to contaminated water or contaminated food not by the air so typhoid cholera and diarrhea are the water borne diseases number 32 the main sources of arsenic in water are floods fertilizers industrial waste or both b and c and the right answer is both by fertilizers and industrial wastes these are the sources of arsenic in water next in most fresh water lakes the algal productivity is limited by the availability of which of the following inorganic ions carbon nitrogen phosphorus or all of the above and the correct answer is phosphorus which of the following diseases or infections is caused due to poor water hygiene leprosy trachoma conjunctivitis or all of the above and the right answer is all of the diseases all the diseases are causes due to poor water hygiene or causes due to intake of contaminated water next number 35 which of the following statements is true about the composition of calcium carbonate or caco3 in soft water 0 to 30 mg of caco3 per liter 30 to 60 mg of caco3 or calcium carbonate per liter 60 to 90 mg of calcium carbonate per liter or 90 to 120 mg of calcium carbonate per liter and the correct answer is 30 to 60 mg of calcium carbonate per liter is the composition of calcium carbonate in soft water 